let's trim some 30 out 6 brass uh, with this case trimming lathe. We're each got time going to take a new piece of brass, insert the case rim into the universal collet, push forward towards the cutter with gentle pressure, tighten the collet, perform our trim, and then we're going to uh, again engage the, the lock, loosen the collet, and then uh, put our brass into the completed uh, tray. So this uh, case trimming setup is, is both uh, flexible and quick to use. We can really process quite a bit of brass in a very short period of time with this particular setup. And it's very precise, trimming the brass, not the cutter. So we know that our case mouth is going to be perfectly square. So there we have our job complete. So let's see what it takes to change over between calibers for this case trimming lathe. The first thing we're going to do is going to be to unlock the cutter shaft and then turn the shaft until we see uh, the allen key for the pilot set screw. We're going to take the supplied uh, allen wrench loosen the set screw, uh, remove the, the pilot that we were using, that was a 30 caliber pilot, and then uh, we're going to trim some 223 brass, so we're going to insert uh, the 22 caliber pilot, tighten the lock nut, and we're ready to trim 223 brass. So let's get our cutting length adjusted. Uh, what we're going to do is, is going to be to tighten our brass in place and then again make sure our uh, cutter lock nut is, is loosened and then we're going to just back this in until it gently contacts the face of the brass. Now we can turn it in ever so slightly and then do a sample trim if we know uh, approximately how much we need to trim and then we will uh, check the overall length of the brass. Once we've established what our overall length should be, which is really easy to dial in with this micrometer dial, we can proceed to, to do our bulk trimming operation, which is going to be the same procedure that we saw with the 30 out 6 brass. We're just going to crank through this brass and when we're done with this step we will of course chamfer and deburr the brass and do any other uh, brass prep that we need to do before we go on to the, to the loading process. Another interesting feature with the reading press is that there are step uh, collet spacers so that uh, if you change, uh, calibrate the cutter, which comes calibrated for 223, uh, and you step up to a different size brass, basically there's a length difference because of the design of the, the step collet. And the spacers can basically compensate for the, the difference in depth uh, in the universal uh, collet so that you can retain your um, overall length uh, for the trim, the calibration between uh, multiple diameters of brass, different steps in the truck, which is a nice feature. If you enjoy quality equipment and precision reloading, you should definitely look into this uh, Reading 2400 case trimming lathe. It provides a very high quality setup with precision measurements and should give you years of reliable service.